What's up guys, it's your boys from acemadden.com and today we'll be covering the new title update that just dropped. As always, I'll be covering the gameplay aspects of the patch notes, so if you want to read the full patch notes, I'm going to leave the link to that in the description. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future tip videos. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, so this first section is going to be talking about blocking. And all of these bullet points are important in the sense that they address something meta related. And again, I haven't tested any of this, so I don't know how effective these changes are, but if they're actually effective, uh, the meta will change drastically. And I really don't think that's the case. I'm sure the blocking isn't much different, but I'm gonna briefly talk about each one. I'm not gonna read these verbatim because that'll just take too much time, but I will point out what each one kind of is aiming to do. So this first section here, this is talking about how on 4-3, even 6-1 blitzes, the defensive tackle or defensive end would kind of squeeze through the offensive line sometimes, you know, through the B gap or something. And I guess I don't want that to be happening, which I guess makes sense. It's not technically a nano because nanos are kind of for a three or four man blitzes. And if they're squeezing through the offensive line, then that's a problem. That's when nano detection will actually activate. But, you know, that's not the case with that one. But it seems like, again, they don't want that to be happening. This next one, this is targeting Nickel over Storm Brave. And this is a really good blitz that people would pinch their defense, bring their safety down, and then one of your edge rushers is going to come clean, even versus a blocked running back. So uh, we'll see if the targeting is actually better for that now. Next one here, uh, they have improved the block and release logic for tight ends, so they don't just release super quickly. And then also they're supposedly better in just regular pass protection because we all know blocking your tight end this year has been complete dog shit and just not even worth doing. So we'll see if they actually hold up a little bit better now. Next one is going to be dollar three two spinner. Another very popular blitz where the slot cornerbacks would be coming in clean. You know, you could send four if they send everybody out, including the running back, you're going to get one free. We'll see if the tackles can actually make a play on those slot cornerbacks that's to be determined this next one is going to be talking about how your second level defenders cannot be on contains anymore so if you were using the 3-3 three, three blitz still um you can't do it anymore apparently uh they have removed the ability for you know stack linebackers and stuff to be assigned a quarterback contained to begin with so that is going to pretty much put a death to 3-3 three, three. and then this last one here is going to be just talking about how a very specific blitz out of nickel over could get the defensive end to come in unblocked, which is something that I was actually doing. And I really hope it's not fixed, but <laughs> um, yeah, apparently that's fixed as well. So that's going to be it for blocking. Next up, we have the catching changes. And one thing I want to talk about real quick before diving into these is that they don't really address ags, which is one of the hottest topics in the entire community right now. So the ag glitch is basically where you high point the ball towards the sideline. Your tall receiver has a chance to animate and catch it. Meanwhile, their defensive back just kind of stands on the ground like a potato and doesn't have any chance of picking that ball. Um, and the best thing he can do is really play the receiver and try to knock the ball out. So you could just kind of throw this brain dead uh, high point where it can't be punished really. I mean, it's really hard to throw a pick on these. So that's been, you know, a very polarizing topic. Um, I think it's bad for the game personally. Let me know in the comment section if you disagree, if you think ags are perfectly fine. But I find it really interesting that they don't really cover it in these patch notes. It tells me either one, they don't care, or two, they don't know how to fix it. That's kind of how I see it because none of these are really about ags i would say they don't really detail ags now don't get me wrong there's you know good changes here i'm not going to read every single one you guys can of course open the link for yourselves or just read them yourselves i guess um but two that i found kind of important at least for me personally are these two here so the first one tuning to catching for wide receivers to catch less tipped balls this would drive me nuts when my defensive back would try going for the pick he wouldn't catch it because apparently defensive backs have nubs for hands and wider, the wide receiver would be in like a perfect position to catch it and then he would run for a touchdown. Like that happened to me so many times and I'm really hoping that that is fixed now. And the next one kind of goes in tandem with it 
where it says fix an issue preventing the interception gameplay slider from significantly impacting the catch frequency for defenders. So it just seems like they've improved the hands of a defensive back. I mean, we've all heard the cliche, defensive backs are defensive backs for a reason. You know, they don't have hands like wide receivers, but I mean, like I've seen clips of these defensive backs basically juggling a football for like four or five interception attempts. Like their hands aren't that bad. So I hope that both of these two things are in fact improved because that'll be good for all of us. We can now punish people for bad reads. Next up, we have ball carrier in tackling in pre and post play. And let me just start off by saying I didn't find anything in here that I found incredibly important. A lot of it's kind of quality of life. So I'm not really going to even talk about ball carrier and tackling. I'll just save you guys the time. If you want to read that, you can. Um, I didn't see anything super important. Um, pre and post play, it did have one thing that I did want to talk about, which was this here. Fix an issue allowing the offense unlimited hot routes without the quarterback playing the corresponding animations while sending a receiver in motion. So if you didn't know about the glitch, you could basically do all of your hot routes consecutively without waiting on your quarterback's cadence. And I'm kind of mixed on this. I understand why they took it out, but at the same time, they need to speed up the quarterback's cadence because we have to do all these hot routes. We have to do our pass protections because these blitzes are insane. And sometimes you can barely snap the ball before you get a delay of game. So they need to speed up the quarterback's cadence. I don't care if the cadence isn't realistic. Like we're not playing real football. Um, it'd be okay if they have an unrealistic speedy cadence. Um, but yeah, I and mean, I understand why you can't do all of your hot routes consecutively. I mean, they do have an ability called conductor where it allows you to do so, but Again, I don't think conductor should be necessary for us to have to do that. But that's just my opinion. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think of these patch notes. Are you guys underwhelmed? Or do you think that these are great changes that are going to make the game a lot better? I personally, um, I'm a little disappointed in regards to them not addressing the ags. I am happy with what they've talked about in the patch notes regarding blocking. But I'm going to reserve my judgment. I'll test that later on today. Let you guys know. I might post a video on blocking tomorrow. So that's going to be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe for more Madden 23 content. And then I'll see you guys tomorrow.